So we have covered the basics of Biomutant. We've also covered individual classes, what they offer, and so much more. Today is the turn of the crafting side to this game. And well, people, it's pretty crazy. The possibilities here are absolutely endless. Now I've researched this over the past week or so and I want to try and keep it as basic and simple for you guys to understand as possible. I mean it's very deep but from the footage we've seen so far it's quite easy to understand and hopefully today I have you covered on what you need to know. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Biomutant be sure to subscribe. So Biomutant has a very complex and unique combat system as you know. A system in which you can progress and learn new moves, combos, abilities and so much more. But combat within this game isn't singled out to Wong Fu. There are also melee weapons and guns you can use too. And these are a part of a massive crafting system within the game, along with armor which you can also craft which we'll get into later. So crafting within this game is done via you finding certain materials to craft with. These give you the options to craft weapons and materials are found in various different ways across the world. The materials I believe are metal, wood, plastic, rubber and e-waste. You can also get these materials via dismantling gear you found which you don't want or need anymore. And once materials are gathered and certain parts found you can craft within your menu. I will state as well you can buy certain parts from vendors across the world. This will cost you an in-game currency called green, which you can also find across the world. And these materials and what can be found and used to craft, it is said there are infinite possibilities. And by the end of the video, I guarantee you will believe that. Now although the gameplay we have seen so far in terms of the latest footage, which over last year's gameplay, where we saw crafting, is a lot cleaner now. But because footage is limited, we don't get to see a lot of what can be done. But because I've researched absolutely everything, watched every video I could find, read every post on Reddit, I've accumulated a lot of information where obviously we won't see gameplay footage for. So let's get into it and what I found. So weapons that can be crafted are melee weapons, i.e. swords, you know, and projectile based weapons, basically guns. So let's talk first about melee weapons. So with the melee weapons you can craft these literally from their base as long as you have the materials. The possibilities here like I said are absolutely endless. So you start with the base and there are a ton of these to pick from. Bases range from blades, hammers, samurai swords, axes, you name it. Some also have certain effects on them like biohazard, electricity and so much more. Others just have raw damage. But it's important to know there are actually three types of melee weapons you can use in this game. One handed slash weapons, two handed slash weapons and two handed crush weapons, each having their individual attributes. Now these weapons and the base you start with differ in terms of set attributes like weapon add-ons, weight class, obviously the lighter the faster the attack speed, armor pierce and also critical chance. So once you have picked the base you want, which like I said can be a sword, an axe, a hammer, whatever you find, you can then select this base weapon's handle. And here you can have anything from a bone to a banana to a toothbrush handle, absolutely crazy guys, hilarious and also awesome at the same time. Now you'll also notice as well with certain melee weapons there are two add-ons. What this means, for instance, say you have a sword or a samurai sword on the end of a banana handle. If the samurai sword has two add-ons, which would be the base, if that offers two add-ons, you can then add a screw or a nail or something like this to the end of that sword. So you can have a screw sticking off the end of your sword which is attached to a banana handle. Yeah, absolutely crazy people. And this is without adding the effects of incendiary damage, uh, electricity, radiation and you can also level up these weapons. You can upgrade them via certain vendors. So there's a lot here guys, there really is. Now with the guns it works in very much the same way as it does with melee weapons. Once you have all the weapons and parts available, once you've found them, you can unlock the crafting for these guns via your inventory. So here like I said it's the same basis as melee weapons, you just have various different gun parts. Way more than what we see with melee weapons. We have the stock, the grip, the base type, the magazine, the top mod and the muzzle. 
These can all also, like melee weapons, be individual items you find across the world of Bio Mutants. So, like I said, the possibilities here are absolutely endless. And from some of the gameplay I've seen, where you have a trumpet on the end of a stick with a magazine attached to it and a sniper scope on the top, I mean, it's absolutely crazy, guys. So, how these work and what these actual different individual parts of the guns add to the weapon are as follows. The stock on a weapon I believe adds range with a chance of armor piercing and a also critical chance. Well this may vary. The base weapon determines the type of weapon it will be, i.e. shotgun, pistol, rifle, etc etc. Magazine will obviously determine the mag size and it also seems reload speed too. The top mod obviously determines levels of range with different scopes etc etc and it seems it can also assist with armor piercing and critical chance too and the muzzle assists with damage and a few other random stats it seems. Now obviously what we have seen within this crafting menu is based on early footage that is floating around the internet. Things will no doubt change when the full game releases, but for the most part I believe the basics will be the same. Now there are also all certain items you can find and you can equip to the weapon to change the way in which it works and affects enemies, adding electricity, incendiary, radiation poison, absolutely everything, much like we see with the melee weapons. And again with the guns like melee weapons it seems you can level them up, upgrade them via certain vendors and so much more. The crafting doesn't end there because you can also craft armor too via adding specific items you find throughout the world to individual parts of your armor i.e. shoulder, elbow, hand, kneecaps, waist, no doubt allowing them to assist you with defenses and so much more. So we do have quite the crafting system within this game people and it's pretty in depth. Now I could have gone way more in depth into it but as long as you know the basics I'm pretty certain you'll understand absolutely everything else when a game drops. Another thing I will add before we end the video, via all the research and videos I've watched, it doesn't seem as though weapons break, i.e. if you create a incredible melee weapon, which is a banana with an axe attached to the end of that, with a nail attached to the end of the axe. If you upgrade this with electricity, so it applies electricity to enemies you hit with it, it doesn't seem as though the weapon breaks. So you can use this for there on out, as long as you've crafted the weapon, you can use it for as long as you like, upgrading it, making it more powerful as you play. I mean, I could be wrong here, but as far as from what I've seen, weapons and guns don't break. But if you do have a question about crafting, you can hit me up within the comments section or via my Discord or Twitter, both linked below. But yeah, guys, that's it for another video. I just wanted to give you guys the basics on crafting within Bio Mutant and what can be done here with those endless possibilities. If anything else drops regarding the game, I will have you covered right here on my channel. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant on a daily basis when it drops, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully, I will see you on that next one.